Well, many of today's business owners in Rochester enjoy success because of a group called Fight. Back in the 60s, the activist group called attention to the city's track record when it came to hiring black workers and helping black entrepreneurs attain capital. Fight did more than talk. It took action. Maureen McGuire has the story. In the early 1960s, Rochester liked to boast that it was a city on the rise. The city itself had lots of jobs to fill, but the black community was left out of the prosperity. At the time, young men like Nathaniel Weiss told the story to anyone who would listen. They feel like they've been, been mistreated and being mistreated only because of, of jobs and houses and, and education. And they want better opportunities for these things. By July of 64, the frustration erupted into civil unrest. Three days of disorder that brought the city's third ward to its knees and the National Guard to city streets. From the rubble formed a group called Fight. Our people want and they deserve results. Through the rest of the 60s, Fight put pressure on the city's largest employer to increase minority hiring at the entry level and in the boardroom. It took years, but Kodak finally succumbed. Then in 1969, Fight drew huge crowds when it opened a company called Fight On. The nation's first black-run community development corporation formed in partnership with Xerox. It was the brainchild of Minister Franklin Florence. We are now on the road of true independence. Fight on means that blacks can now have cooperative identity. This is truly a historical achievement. Fight on was renamed Altrex. By the late 1990s, it had become a conglomerate employing hundreds. In the aftermath of the recession a decade later, its assets were sold to Canon Industries, but all of its employees transitioned to Canon. These are our demands, that the mayor's committee take concrete action to encourage the establishment of more Negro businesses in the area. For much of the 60s, unemployment in Rochester was less than 2%, but for unskilled black workers, it was 25%. Fight helped change that, and though it's now gone, it will forever be known for its role in the fight for racial justice in Rochester. Maureen McGuire, News 8. And for more stories like this one, see our Black History Month section at rochesterfirst.com.